the geese are back, which means it's spring. <laughs> it has officially been two weeks since my breathwork and cold plunge retreat. <laughs> it's so funny because I feel like I've been thinking of things in this almost like post retreat time frame. Like it's been one week since the retreat. Now it's been two weeks since the retreat. And I think the reason that I'm doing that is because I a lot internally changed for me during the retreat. I didn't want to come back and try to make a bunch of massive changes to my life, uh, but I also didn't want to come back and fall into old patterns and just forget about all of the things that happened for me at the retreat. So it's been a long two weeks of journaling and reflecting and connecting with friends and just existing with this new perspective, I guess. I guess I'm ready to start taking what I learned about myself and the new perspective. Uh, I'm ready to start building that into my everyday life. And I don't know, this is a weird thing to navigate. Like I've never experienced that before. So I know it's gonna take baby steps and I know it's gonna take time to kind of integrate these new tools. But I think now that I'm feeling settled with work and I'm feeling settled back into life a little bit, I think now is the time to start. And the first thing that I wanna start with is doing a thorough clean of my space. I'm gonna purge and get rid of a bunch of stuff again because I still have things and stuff that just feels like it needs to be gotten rid of in order to kind of clear my headspace a bit, just not be surrounded by all of these things that I, I don't need anymore and that are not serving me. I think that for me, doing a physical clean and kind of resetting myself physically is a really great way to kind of warm up to um, doing that in like an emotional, mental, spiritual capacity. It just seems so much easier to kind of do a spring clean physically and then the momentum that I feel from that, I think I can apply to the other areas of my life once I've once I've like reset my my physical body and my space. Just finished kind of like doing a bunch of vacuuming and I also cleaned this rug that I <laughs> found for free in someone's garbage pile. It looked like it was still in great condition, it smelled fine, uh, so I was like I'm gonna grab this and I'm gonna give it a wash and if it seems like there's still something wrong with it I'll just like put it back in a garbage pile but it smells fine and it's been cleaned and it's just drying, so I think it's gonna be good. Also something else that I'm gonna do is I've removed my bed frame, which was like one of those adjustable metal bed frames that to be honest, I often kicked and stubbed my toe on and also scratched myself on because the edges are really sharp. So I've taken that off and I'm gonna basically sleep on the floor. I know that that's not everyone's cup of tea, but for me, um, I also, to be fair, have a box spring that's gonna go underneath it. And I feel like a box spring is basically a wooden bed frame or like a pallet bed frame. 
Um, so it's not like I'm directly on the floor, although I would also do that. <laughs> But this is actually something that I've done in quite a few places that I've lived is that I'll start with a bed frame because that feels like the right thing to do. <laughs> and then inevitably there always comes a time where I just feel like I want to be on the floor. It makes me feel more grounded. It feels cozier to me. I feel like there's less space around me because technically there is because there's no space under me if I'm just directly on the floor. And I don't know, for me it's kind of a little bit of a mental thing. So I'm gonna um, just like rearrange my bed and put it on the box spring directly on the floor. And then it's fine if I don't like it and I do it for a couple weeks or so and I'm like, eh, not a fan. The bed frame's downstairs. So I can just put it back up. Anyways, I'm gonna get the bed set up in the corner and keep on going. So I have now been cleaning my room and I cleaned out the car since Friday <laughs> is when I started um, and it's been going well. I think I always do this, I underestimate just how much cleaning and how much time it's going to take, especially because I, when I do this, especially if it's like a spring clean or a big deep clean like this, I am one of those people who just takes, I just take out everything that I own basically and I lay it on the floor in front of me and that's the best way for me to actually get through all of it but I always underestimate how much time that's going to take so I got a good chunk done and then yesterday we went up uh, to a little cove a couple of my friends were going highlining and I kind of just wanted to go and like be out of the city and sit and read which is exactly what I did I feel like it was a really beautiful welcome break from just being stuck in the house cleaning. I'm so grateful that it's finally getting a bit warmer outside and the sun's been out so much more often because that really gives me so much more energy. It just makes getting out in nature so much easier to do because I really love getting out in nature and I think it's really healing for me and really grounding but I struggle to do it when I'm you know going through the dark season so I'm glad that that is pretty much behind us at this point. So yeah, I want to finish cleaning today, 
get things a bit more organized and finish purging. I'm feeling good about this season. I'll be honest, there are a couple things that I still need to do that I think, like a couple things I need to process, a couple things I need to just get done. Um, and I know it's gonna be kind of like a tough <laughs> Uh, next little while just because of all the different things that I need to do and how difficult they are but they're all things that are moving me to a more aligned place with myself and there are they're all things that are just I know I need to do and I've kind of been putting off so it's all good I'm it's gonna be a beautiful season um, with a lot of release and refresh and yeah so I'm gonna finish my coffee and then I'm going to head back into my room and we're going to get this finished. still hear me but I've pretty much finished well I'm 75% done I still have like a bin of stuff that I need to move to the basement that is kind of like stuff that I don't want to commit to getting rid of because I actually think I will use it again but I haven't used it in a while and I'm not gonna use it but yeah I think I'm I'm feeling good with how it's looking honestly like I I feel more relaxed there is I'll be honest my kind of like desk area is a little bit messier than I would like it to be but I think this is something that I've said before and when it comes to like downsizing and cleaning and purging the stuff that you own it often takes multiple rounds and it often takes multiple like cycles of getting rid of things for you to you know continue to cut down and get to a place where you're really completely content with the amount of stuff you have and I've been doing this for years like I've been going through these cycles of purging for years now and I'm still not quite down to the amount of stuff that I would pr prefer to have at this time in my life it gets closer and closer every time and I feel better and better every time so and doing this kind of like cleanse like spring cleaning purging cleansing my my space and like my physical energy I guess just always makes me feel more inspired and more creative and in this case it's actually kind of affected me a little bit differently um I still feel more inspired and more creative in uh, a clean space and like a cleansed space I guess but it's also made me feel more restful. This is kind of a funny thing, but having the bed closer to the floor makes me feel very grounded. I like it. I have a feeling one day I'm going to become one of those people that just sleeps on like a sleeping mat on the floor and I'd be super keen for that. So that just makes me feel so much more restful and grounded. And this time around, because I've been trying to prioritize rest and I've really been struggling with that, I noticed that doing this clean, um, I noticed that I was feeling more tired throughout it and I, but I also honored it and I took more breaks and like normally I would just power through this kind of process. 
um, to try and get it done as quickly as possible. And this time I feel like I really honored how I was feeling and when I needed to rest. And now that I'm, you know, 75% done, like I said, the space that I've cleansed and the space that I've created makes me feel like I can be more restful in this space. Like now that it's clean and it's intentional, I just feel much more comfortable and much more settled. And I think that's been really important for me this time around because I am prioritizing rest right now. So I am going to go and have a lovely dinner with my housemates in the backyard, which I'm very excited about. I'm so stoked that it's warm enough to be able to do that now. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed this little kind of spring cleaning vlog, and I hope that you're feeling rested and that you're taking care of yourself and that you're being intentional and present with how you're feeling and how you want to be feeling. And I just hope you're doing all right. Thank you for being with me during this vlog. Don't forget to smile and I will see you in the next video. Bye.